Hey everybody, it's Danielle with Explosive Cosmetics. I'm going to be doing a rebatch of Cool Water. And if you have watched the video before, I'm going to pretty much kind of do it the same colors, except I have a couple colors here I'm going to be trying out from Rustic Essentials. I have their Electric Blue Mica. And then I have their Almost Ice Mica. I'm going to try them both out to see um, how they are. And you can see one of them's a little bit darker and other one's a little bit lighter blue, which is kind of what I want. So I'm going to be trying those two out. And then I am going to do the white in it as well. Now if you see um, my lye mixture right here, it's actually a bit brown. There's nothing wrong with it. Actually, um, I'm trying out a aloe vera powder that I just bought and it's naturally a, a brown powder so when I added it in there before I even added the lye it actually turned the water a bit brown and then I also um, put my coconut water in there which I'm sure that helped when I add the, the added the lye that helped turn it a little bit more brown just from the natural sugars that's in the coconut but we will see how it turns out. I kind of like, don't really like my lye to get brown like that because sometimes it will kind of make your natural soap batter a little too brown. I'm trying to open this little baggie and I can't do it with my gloves on. <laughs> so we'll see, but I probably won't use, because I know a lot of the brown was from the aloe vera powder, so I probably won't use that again. Probably use my other aloe vera that I use. It's not brown. It is clear liquid. So, okay. Let's go ahead and get this out of here a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and strain my lye mixture too when I put it in, just because it looked like a few of the bits didn't dissolve. So, here we go. Yeah, just a few. Not very many, but I don't want those in my soap. Floating around in it. Alright. Go ahead and put in my coconut milk and I already have the colloidal oatmeal and the kaolin clay and the oils already mixed in. These gloves are new, so they're a little slippery. But I really like these kind because they're the rewashable nitro kind. It's hard to find the nitro kind that's rewashable and not disposable. But since they're new, now they're really they're really stiff and they're kind of slippery. <laughs> so I can't get a hold of the stick liner as well. So we'll just have to do it like this. my batter just a little bit darker than normal but it shouldn't be too bad since I'm coloring the whole batch okay in goes the fragrance Thank <laughs> you. 
colors here. Kind of do equal parts of everything, I think. bit of different titanium dioxide where it um, mixes up really thick for me and I think I like this one a little bit better because the other titanium dioxides that I would always have they just stay really watery um, the water dispersible kind I kind of like them really thick it acts as like it mixes in a little bit better Almost Ice Mica, which is the lighter blue. I think I will have enough. There's not a lot in these little sample baggies. Hopefully it'll be enough. It's pretty much the whole bag right there. Okay, and then this one will be the darker blue. Which is the electric blue mica, it says. guys I'll be right back all right I had to go back to my handy dandy throwaways <laughs> this just wasn't working they even have little grips on the bottoms of them too but just was not wanting to grip for me much better that was getting rather annoying Alright, so normally that would have been enough white, but since the liar's a little brown, I need to add just a little bit more. Just a little bit of a creamy beige color still. And I want it to be nice and bright white. going to turn more of a teal with my batter. Let's see if I have a little bit more in here. Oh, I have a little bit more. And that's okay. was my fault for trying something new again. That's still a pretty color, but it turned more of a blue-green since my batter was a little dark, darker than normal. Still pretty. Alright, now this is the lighter blue. Turning on blue green too. And I got some more over here. I'm just going to mix it. I need this color to be blue. So in goes a little neon blue. Hopefully, it will solve the issue.
that's a real pretty dark blue. There. Okay, everyone, I am back. I had a phone call, so I had to go get that. That always happens when I, so if I get the phone calls, it'd be quiet all day long, except when I go to soap. <laughs> it's my batter thickening up just a little bit because of that, but it's still workable. liner. I think I need to tweak my mold just a little bit more for my liner because it doesn't ever want to stay close to the mold anymore and I think it's just because it's gotten used longer several times now where in the beginning it was sticking really good to the sides and now it doesn't want to. I'm gonna go beat this down really fast. I think I'm going to leave some of this white to do a little bit more white on the top. I want to leave just a smidgen for the top. I'm going to try to do what I did last time, but I don't know if it might be too thick to do that, but we'll see. Okay. I think I'll do the rest of this white.
Just a really thin layer, I think. Like that. Alright, I'm gonna go beat this down one more time. do a little bit of some drizzlies here if I can try to do it here Boom. just probably make a mess again all over Get my bowl nice and scraped down. Do the white drizzle on top. Yeah, these are going to be more of um, some floppies. Just looks like I'm pretty much just making a mess, huh? <laughs> oh, I have a little bit of white left. Not as much as I would have liked. Okay, that's about all I got. Good enough. I'm just getting soap everywhere, pretty much. Clean it all up. Now this is the a man soap, so I guess I will leave the glitter off for of this one. <laughs> I love how putting glitter on the tops, but I don't think men really get into the glitter. So we'll leave it off of this one.
good enough. So here we have the remake of Cold Water. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great day. Hey everybody, so I'm back to cut the cool water. It's been a couple days, so it's firmed up nicely. So that's how it came out. And uh, the colors came out nice. Two shades of blue like I wanted. Uh, the lighter blue, kind of the batter was more of a blue-green, but really, since the air has hit it, um, it actually is kind of turning more of a light blue like I wanted originally, so that's good. I hope the lighting is okay. It's a bit of a dreary day today. We've been getting lots of storms, which we really needed it. Needed some rain on the plants. So, oh, that came out cool. I like that effect. <clears throat> so there's that one. So it's a little bit different design than what I did last time when I made a smaller batch of it. My husband is absolutely bonkers over this fragrance, so I did go ahead and buy a huge bottle of it for him because he's already used his bars that I set aside for him. <clears throat> so it's about time to make a, another batch. Oh, that one kind of looks like some ocean waves or something in it, don't it? Huh? That's cool. I'm one of those people that are just super excited. I literally can't ever wait to cut into the soap. Because they're just always... You never know what you're going to find. Sometimes you have... Ones that don't turn out exactly right. And then others it's just... Very exciting to see how they come out. Now, um, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and all my current subscribers and everybody who watches. Thank you very much. I really met some amazing people. Through this process, you all are lovely, and I am going to be holding a giveaway very soon. Um, <clears throat> I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, I kind of have an idea, but I know within the next few weeks I will be doing a giveaway sometime. But I haven't exactly decided what I'm going to do yet. I believe I'm going to go ahead and add in this video something that I haven't done before is add this cutting video into the making video. I know it's going to take me a lot longer to be able to upload it on YouTube. Even a short 15 minute video, it seems to at least take six hours, which I mean, we really don't have slow internet or anything here. I mean, it's a little slower than probably a lot of others, but I just don't know why it takes so long. 
And I've been meaning to make a lot more videos lately. I know I haven't been posting a lot. A couple weeks ago, I had made several soaps that I actually was camcording. And that day literally took me all freaking day to make soap. <laughs> It was one of those days to where I'm sure you soapers out there have had them before to where nothing was going right. I literally had one of the videos that was like over an hour long and I knew that I would not have been able to upload that on YouTube <laughs> without a lot of editing and I'm not the best at editing videos so. Anyways, this one luckily worked out good for me so I will be able to upload this one so there we have the cool water for the men I'll see you guys in there they are thank you guys very much for watching I hope you all have a great day